the Pakistani army on Thursday successfully test fired Babur 1A cruise missile. Babur is a short range surface to surface ballistic missile capable of hitting land and sea targets with high precision up to 450 km away. The Babur cruise missile 1A was launched from a state of art multi tube missile launch vehicle. The bigger question before us is if this missile is going to be a real threat for India as claimed by Pakistani media and if yes how big is this threat while babar has initially a range of 700 kilometers why is pakistani media claiming its range to be 450 kilometers hello and welcome back to your own channel indian defense analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in defense sector in today's video we are going to talk about babar cruise missile in detail and we'll analyze how deadly this cruise missile can be the inter service public relations ispr on thursday reported in a statement the successful test of babar 1a cruise missile this is the third test by pakistan in less than a month followed by shaheen 3 and ghaznavi missile test the cruise missile has a range of 450 plus km and can be launched from land and submarine based platform the military media wing of pakistan further claimed that the missile is capable of engaging both land and sea targets. Babur has a turbofan engine with solid fuel propelled booster used during the launch. It can carry 450 to 500 kg of conventional or nuclear warheads. It can attain maximum speed of 990 km per hour. When the missile is launched, the solid fuel booster is triggered which ignites the turbo engine. After the launch, the wings in the missile opens up, which provides it high degree of maneuverability and terrain hugging capability, which makes its detection difficult against the enemy radar. While all seems to be good about this missile, and it seems it might be a big threat for India, I would request you all to wait till the end, and we will tell you about missile which won't be available on public media platform easily. Now, first, let's talk about range. Babur is not indigenously developed by Pakistan, unlike Nirbhaya cruise missile by India. It has been built by reverse engineering of U.S. Tomahawk missiles. While Pakistan makes tall claim about its corporate tech to be 700 plus kilometers in range, U.S. estimates its max range to be just over 350 kilometers, which means less than half of what has been boasted by Pakistan. Also. The Babur 1 missile has a range of 700 plus kilometers. Then why the range of Babur 1A which was tested recently has been reduced to 450 kilometers? The possible reason could be the engine which was used is not available now and the Babur 1A which has been tested is using a Chinese engine which does not have enough power which is required to attain the range of 700 kilometers. Next, let's talk about accuracy. We all know that if a missile has to hit a target with a pinpoint accuracy, it need to have an active radar homing seeker which helps the guidance of the missile at terminal stage and better accuracy against a moving target. However, Pakistan could not reverse engineer the active radar seeker technology. Therefore, the tall claim of Pakistan about pinpoint accuracy of its missile is completely baseless. Babur which is just relying on terracom and inertial navigation systems fall close to its target but not with pinpoint accuracy the babur missiles could be effective only if they are used in large numbers and against a stationary target next we we'll talk about its guidance pakistan does not have any navigation satellite of its own and derives its guidance from russian or chinese satellites The other countries such as US, China and Russia do sell their navigation codes but they knowingly put some amount of error to decrease the accuracy of missiles. The cruise missiles which receives satellite navigation corrections all the way to the target from US global position system GPS or Russian global navigation satellite system GLONASS leading to 10 meters circular error probability. Now the circular error probability CEP is a measure of accuracy defined as the radius of a circle in which 50% of missiles are successfully delivered. At the same time, 
Indian cruise missiles such as Nirbhaya uses India's own IRNSS or Navic satellite system which has enhanced accuracy. Now let's check Bauer against Indian air defense. As we have already discussed, Bauer has a terrain hugging capability which enables it to fly low and dodge radars. However, DRDO has developed a critical technology called ADA Advanced Air Defense Missiles which are developed keeping in mind cruise missiles. Barak 8 which is a long range anti-air and anti miss missile, Akash which is a short range air to air missile and its longer range variant is under development can easily destroy any cruise missile. Pakistan still does not have any super cruise supersonic missile like Brahmos which can fly 9 times the speed of Babur. Pakistan also does not have any answer for India's BMD or ballistic missile shield. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.